Right. When you set it up uh, in business, something you do need to look at is are there any grants? Right. Because th there are various grants for various things. Some are really helpful, some don't apply, but you need to look into it. Mm. So when I first started the um, food business, I went to the job centre. You had to register because you were jobless, mm. which I've never, well, I've never really been employed, but, but I have been employed, but not, not to a great extent. And the government were offering a £40 a week grant mm. towards anybody setting up in business. Oh, right, okay. Now, when you first start, it'll pay for something, it'll pay mm. for your petrol or whatever. So always look to see that's probably the only government support I've ever had in my mm. life was this £40 a week grant and it lasted for six months but it did help with the startup so I had uh, money I'd saved up um, I had effectively it's not redundancy money it's the money that they pay you off to leave early mm. so between that and the startup grant I had enough capital mm. to start in business so make sure you check there's, tr there's grants for training Right, yeah, sometimes courses are free as well. So. Courses are free. Yeah. There's grants for development. Mm. There's grants, when you get further on, I think there's grants for training staff. Right. The, 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 it's, a, it's a wide um, subject, mm. but it's definitely worth looking into what grants are available mm. in your area. Mm. Uh, it's, if you can get something to help you, then anything helps from yeah. the start. Most people have difficulty in finding the initial capital. Mm. Unless you've got an immaculate business plan that's going to be stunning and you can afford to, or you've saved up to put some money in, then the banks won't look at it. Right. When I first went to the bank for money for the property business, the bank manager sat down and said, yeah, oh, um, no, we're not interested in property. So I said, well, it's at the right time, it's the bottom mm. of the market. It's the time to invest. I said, and I've done a cash flow forecast mm. for buying 10 properties. So the bank manager said, looked at me, went, um, I just go and get the guy who understands cash flow forecasts. <laughs> it's, it's not word of a lie, this, right. obviously. And I'm thinking, oh, no. So he gets the guy who understands cash flow forecasts. I then had to explain it mm. to him what it was. So he then said, "Well, look, you know, we, we, we don't, we're not, we're not, we're um, not, you know, we're not doing it." Mm. I said, "No, I've already done it." I said, "I bought the first one out of my own cash. Mm. This is what will happen as we go along. You buy one, you do it up." You remortgage it, you carry on, and, and this is it's projected. That's what will, that's how it will mm. work. And he went, oh, oh, that's different. He said, you've already done it. You're already in the business. Mm. So I said, Jenna yeah, bought the first one. Oh, well, that's different. How much do you right. want? Oh, right. <laughs> but that's because I'd already, they call it skin in the game. Yeah. Because I'd already put all my money in. Right. Then the bank considers that you are committed yeah yeah so if you've got skin in the game then you've got more chance of selling a startup or a cash flow to the bank mm. or to investors yeah now that's another story mm. unicorns people invest in billions in basically rubbish mm. but out of ten if you get one that's right this is the other side of it, that's investors. Mm. There are people who will invest in your business, but you've got to give a percentage of your business yeah. away. Yeah. Then you'll always have someone controlling it, someone behind you telling you what to do. So if you can skin yourself, save the money up, put the money into your business, mm. then you've got startup capital, a little bit of a grant from somewhere to help like I had. The bank, maybe. I don't know what they're doing now, but um, it's usually the computer says no. So how did you start yours? 
Uh, I, I put five hundred pound in the pot. Yeah, you see. Yeah. It didn't sound like a lot. Yeah. But I had that in the pot. That yeah. was uh, my pot of money, and now obviously well earned all of that so back. So you've, you've multiplied from that. Oh yeah, definitely. You bought with that, and then uh, I bought with that. Obviously, bought my stationery, yeah. bought leaflets, bought all the things that I needed for events, and yeah. so uh, everything that I have now, I own. I don't, yeah. I don't take loans out. I've used yeah. whatever money I've got coming in now, just goes back in that pot. Yeah. And and I've got to the point now where uh, everything's paid for. So I, I don't dip into my own money whatsoever. Yeah. That money's there. It's the business pay, money. It's the business money to yeah. buy things with, to buy stationery with, to pay me rent, yeah. to pay whatever bills I need to do. So you didn't take any big obligations on in the first place? No. Oh, no, I hate being in debt. Yeah. That's one thing I can't abide. Yeah. Um, and I suppose looking back, I could have. I could have borrowed some more money. And being, being in debt and borrowing is a very difficult one because... It's if you look at it as debt, then it can hold you back. Mm. That's what you've got to be careful of. Is the mm. the type of business, it, depending on what type of business it is, mm. it with property, debt was part of the business. Right, right. But as long as you if you kept your debt to fifty percent of the value mm. of the property, mm. then it's not a debt. Right. Because you can sell that tomorrow for half price yeah. and clear the debt. Yeah. So yeah, if you become, yeah, if you sometimes if you're frightened of the debt, it, it'll stop you from progressing. Mm. But that is a very difficult decision to make, and it shouldn't be done. It shouldn't be made unless you really, absolutely analyse it. Mm. And mm. should I do that? So for me, you got to look at all the risks involved. Yeah, cash on the first yeah. one, so there's no debt. Yeah. But then, how do you get to the next one? Yeah. So there's got to be debt. Yeah. Yeah. But if that debt is only half of what that property is worth, right? You know you'll. You can sell right. it tomorrow. Yeah. For half, yeah. For the, and get the money back. Yeah. So it's not really a debt. Yeah. So you've got to really weigh up whether it's worth borrowing, or whether it's worth expanding. Mm. That, that's something that that's a little bit beyond this discussion. Right. So another little learning. Okay.